there was some open wounds found from obstructive airway syndrome, and shortly after, he had his appointment to go in. I'm the first to say I'm shocked. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Delaney and my one-year-old French Bulldog's name is Monte Carlo. He turned one this past week and unfortunately we celebrated in the, I guess, emergency room for dogs. And I'm gonna get into that shortly, all about our journey and experience with Monty getting BOA surgery, the Brachycephalic Obstructive Airway Syndrome surgery, which I mentioned in the previous video. But before we get into it, please like, subscribe, comment down below what kind of content you'd like to see, because I like to make what you guys want to see. But yeah, so to dive right in and kind of get going, we came back from traveling, and shortly after, he had his appointment to go in for surgery. It was on August 18th, I wanna say. We got there early, they took him back, everything went great. He had the surgery, he actually had four surgeries in one. So he had a neuter, he had his nares surgery done, which is the opening of his nose. They kind of cut out a wedge in the nostrils to improve airflow through the nose. He had his elongated soft palate trimmed, and I always forget the last one. Oh, the averted laryngeal sac I don't know if I'm saying that right, but those were also surgically removed because in brachycephalic dogs, they are blown up like balloons and they prevent like air flow, basically. Uh, so he had three BOA surgeries done and then the neuter, so four in total. And when we got back home, he was healing just fine. He actually was on all soft food, so he was eating great because he loves like wet canned dog food. And so we didn't have any complications. He was on pain meds as well as an anti-nausea so he wouldn't vomit and disrupt the stitches in his throat. But we had a solid week of him being, his behavior was great, everything was going absolutely fine until he got a little too excited after he saw somebody outside of the window at our apartment and he hit the window with his face, with his nose, and ripped the stitches out of one side of his nose. And this was awful, it was an awful experience. It was bloody, I think it was painful for him because he ended up sleeping the rest of the day, but we ended up having to have a second emergency surgery done the next morning, which happened to be about four days ago on his nose. So he had his nares completely redone for the second time about a week after the first time. And I'm the first to say I'm not a perfect pet owner. I wish that I could have been supervising 24 seven, but I'm, I'm busy, I have work, I have to do things too. So unfortunately, this was just a situation that happened and we had to deal with it as it presented itself. So he had the second surgery and so far all is well. He is still in a cone but he's in good spirits and everything seems to be perfectly fine. His little arm is shaved from um, the IV, but I mean, everything went as smooth as it could have other than that little hiccup that we had with his nose. But unfortunately he did have to have the second surgery on his first birthday. It was just what had to have happened because it was kind of an emergency situation because his, with the stitches weren't in, his nose re-collapsed, meaning the nostril went back in its normal position and restricted airflow. So they had to go in as soon as they possibly could to kind of fix that situation. Other than that, we do have a checkup appointment on Wednesday and today's Monday. So two days from now, we have a checkup appointment to see how he's doing. He is now on antibiotics. He's not on the anti-nausea anymore, but the antibiotics prevent anything bacteria from growing in his open wounds because when they had, when he tore that part of his nose, when he obviously went after the person he saw outside and hit his nose on the window. There was some open wounds, some bleeding, so they did give him uh, antibiotics to treat that, just in case there was any kind of bacteria that got in there. But other than that, our experience was fabulous. We did use a specialist rather than our regular vet just because we heard a lot of good things about her. And so if you're interested in that information, if you're in the Charlotte area or North Carolina and you're looking to get the BOA surgery done for your Frenchie or your brachycephalic dog, please reach out to me. I'd love to answer all the questions that you have about who we went and saw, but it was a great experience. He was well taken care of the whole time. I never had to worry. I literally could call it at 11 o'clock at night, 4 a.m. They answered the phone because he did have to spend the night, but they would answer and be there for me. So 
They were very calming and reassuring, which is a very good thing to have when you're in that situation, especially twice. He did not have to spend the night the second time, but the first time he did. And it was very heart-wrenching to just know that he was all by himself and potentially in pain, but they took great care of him. So all around a great experience. And I'd love to answer any questions you guys have about the bow surgery and if your Frenchie needs it, if they don't, what signs and symptoms to look for. Monty pretty much had every single symptom that you could think of, heat intolerance, all those kind of things, snoring, snorting, you name it, reflux, he had it. And yeah, so none of those things are happening anymore. He hasn't had reflux since. His snoring has been very minimal. There is some swelling still, so once that goes down, I don't think he'll snore at all. He'll be completely silent. And we haven't taken him on many walks, so I can't test the heat tolerance, but so far so good in terms of his panting. He doesn't really pant much. But yeah, I'm really satisfied with the end result, and I think that if you're considering this, it's it's definitely a good thing to do. It's not as expensive as you think. Even when we saw the specialist, it cost under $3,000 for all four surgeries, plus an overnight at the hospital and all his medication. You know, you can't really go wrong with improving your Frenchie's quality of life and increasing their longevity. So I definitely suggest doing it and recommend it if you're on the fence about it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.